Hello and welcome back to Yog Labs. How are you doing, Simon? I'm good. I'm really good. You feeling good? Oh, I could really do a, do with a coffee. Uh, well, it's still broken oh. and out of order. It's even worse than the last time. We cleared out most of the scum, though, from the alien bacteria yeah. that was scraped off. It's still sort of a lingering infection, but the test certificate saved up and they bought a, um, a water machine. Oh. Do you like this? Uh, like a water cooler. Okay. I, I know all this, it's got a sign there that says... Uh, Property of US government. Yeah, but don't worry. I'm gonna I'm gonna scrape that off. I'm gonna just file that down. Did they nick this? Uh, no, we don't steal things from the government. It's not like we did a covert raid or anything. And wait, what? What? I'm sorry. No, nothing. It was surplus. <laughs> surplus. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure, sure, it was. Sure. Uh, we also got a new photocopy. Have you seen that? Oh, it's great. Um, so anyway, today we're looking at a couple of interesting mods. Awesome. Uh, which I which I set up in a couple of these rooms. So first of all, the better animations collection. Now, one of the things that that's good that there's a sign there so that you remember what the mods call and <laughs> call and who it's by. It's really convenient. This is one of our testing labs. It's lovely in here actually. Um, oh, it's nice. One of the things you might have noticed about Minecraft is that the animations aren't very good. What do you mean? How how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> so this mod has endeavoured to add extra animations to Minecraft to make it even more awesome. Okay. okay. And you're prepared to be blown away. And by that, I mean not blown away at all. Uh, okay, I'm bracing myself to be blown <laughs> away. Okay. <laughs> okay, keep bracing. Okay. So we've got spawn sheep here, baby sheep. Okay. Now, did you know if you... I, I didn't know this actually until I was mucking around with it, but if you um, right-click on a... A, a sheep with an egg, a sheep egg. Right. It will spawn a baby sheep. Oh my god! What? Did you know that? And baby oh. sheep have a new animation where they eat. Stay in there. They eat grass. So if I spawn a couple of babies, you'll, oh. you'll see they they occasionally will little look, get their heads down, nibbling on the grass. Is that it? Is that the new animation? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I knew you'd be impressed. <laughs> I knew you'd be impressed. No, it's, it's really like good. a whole no, new it's, game. It's, it's really, it's amazing. <laughs> I'm loving it. Well, if you're impressed by this, there's lots more to come. It's, um, it's immersing me in this this amazing world. So there you go. I mean, every little helps, yeah. to be honest. As the old lady said as she weaved into the sea. That's right. Also, I think that's the motto of Asda or something, or Tesco, maybe. Other shops are available. Squid eggs in here. Uh, lovely squid eggs. Now, squids, as you may or know, or may not know, uh, have straight legs in Minecraft, okay. which is very realistic, because they normally have these sort of tentacles. Yeah, they got flappy, sort of wobbly ten. Oh! Oh! So what we've got is... Oh, my God! they got rounded ones now. Wow. They look good, don't they? Oh, it's really creepy. They're sort of like little claws or something. Oh, what do you think? Oh, look, I've got numbers that pop up. Yeah, and I forgot to mention this. So this is the damage indicators mod. And basically, the damage indicators mod will allow you to see your damage. We've got this actually installed on the Yogscast, Yogscraft, Yogit pack, whatever it's called, for Techit, which we haven't seen yet. I think we're going with the uh, Yogscraft. It's available to download now from all good... Uh... Well, it's the Feed the Beast launcher, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> um, I, don't know if it, I don't know if it is available. It's a beta, anyway. So squids, there you go. Lovely job. They got the roundy bits. Cats, uh, over here. Oh! They actually have... Oh, sorry, cat. Wow. Uh, they actually a have a, a, rounded, <laughs> a rounded tail, as you can see there. Why does it say Ozzelot instead of Ocelot? Oso that's how you spell Ocelot, isn't it? No, it isn't. It's got a C in it. That's spelled with a C. No, it's got a Z. O Z or, or or Z if you're American. E L O T. Where are you reading this? It's got the I've got like a dragon portrait, a little picture of the cat. Oh. And its name it says Ozelot. Oh right. Okay, you've turned okay, hang on, I've turned that off. Uh weird. I don't know, maybe it's just a bug. Uh maybe well, maybe that's its name. Maybe they've all got little different names. He's called Ozzy, the Ocelot. Oh, he's cute, isn't he? So, um yeah, that's that. Little rounded tails. Is that it? Just a round... <laughs> I knew you'd be impressed. Uh, well... I'm glad I spent so long on this. Uh, wolves as well. Wolves. 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 They will also... They got round tails too. Now this is a bit better. So yeah. take uh, a couple of bones. Uh, take, all, take a couple of bones here. And take a bit of beef. And I'll put a wolf down. Right. And he, you want him to be your friend, so so make him your friend. Oh, his tail. Does it wag? He's got a waggly tail, yeah. He has got a big, big, a big thick oh, waggly tail. Oh, look 
kicking him. His little bushy tail. He lies down when you when you ask him to instead of instead of sitting down. So isn't that cute? It's like a fox that tail. I know it's big oh, and look bushy. At him. He's adorable. Now oh. the other thing he will do is oh, that. Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh, that's lovely. So you feed him beef because he'll wag his head, you see, and he'll beg for it. If you if you make him sit and then you do that, he'll beg. <laughs> Oh. There you go! Wow. Oh, he likes that, doesn't he? Doesn't he like that? Yep. Oh, that is adorable. I, I, I sort of, I've saved the best for last here. Um, I mean, the wolf is pretty, pretty damn good. But the, the best, the best is the, the level of detail that's got into the cow. Right. Okay. Now he's a bit sort of trapped. That cow. Well, the reason, the reason I've put him in there, I could spawn a couple in if you want to have a look, closer look, but. The reason I put him in there is because the animated part of him is his udder, and he's got an ex- his udder or her udder, <laughs> right? Ex- they've got extremely detailed udders, right? Which sort of jiggle around when they move. Oh, and hang on, I'll have to get in there with him actually. Um, just give it a sec. Okay, I if feel- I like give him a shove and you have a look, look at his udder, you'll see it like jiggles around. I feel like I'm invading her privacy a little <laughs> bit here. I know this is such a weird thing though. That like the udder is like moving. Oh, it's individually rendered each nipple. Oh god, and it jiggles around. Why did they need to add this? Can you can you get a good view there? Well, it, there's a slight jiggle. It's it's quite subtle. It's hard to see. I'm not but it's, sure. Again, I feel slightly awkward. Sorry, so madam. So this guy who made this. I'm very sorry. <laughs> this guy who made this mod. What's his name? Nosira K. I think it's a bit of a weird guy, but... Did you have to check the sign outside the door? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Well, it's a bit of a comp- confusing name. Not easy to remember, is it? The other thing that we I did actually uh, install is uh, dynamic lighting. So if you hold onto a torch or a piece of glowstone, it will actually dynamically light the area you're in around. But it's because it's, it's night. Actually, can I set it to night? Well, we're indoors, aren't we? Yeah. So there you go. So now it's night. Oh, Your Glabs yeah. has got this dynamic lighting system where at night time all the lights sort of go into dim mode. Did you know that? That's quite nice. I like that. It's fancy. So if you hold a torch, it lights up the sort of immediate surroundings. i got a light radius. It works very well, actually. It works. That's an example of a mod dynamic lighting which works fantastically well. This is one of those things that Notch said could never be done in Minecraft. So. Yeah, he said it was impossible. <laughs> and it's just perfected their magic. Okay, so... Onwards to the next bit. Testificate MDs prepared this for us. This is this is a, a little flag here which I couldn't get rid of after I put it down. Uh, can't help but notice temporary lethal monster containment. Yeah, don't worry about that. Uh, sure. So first of all, put your riot gear on. So we've got two sets of. I got. To, I asked Certificate MD to set us up a pack of riot gear. Okay. To wear. So I've got. Oh. I've got golden chest plates. I've got. Mm, okay. And I've got a knife. What have you got? I've got some diamond armor. Oh, oh, it looks good. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, it says PD on the back. So, police department. Uh, yeah, the US. Is this riot gear? Yeah, yeah, we, we borrowed it from... We rented it, uh, hired, hired it. Was it stolen? Surplus. Oh, surplus. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure, right. I'm sure it's surplus, yeah. God, why have I got this? What do I look like? Um, you look a bit like a fisherman. Oh. With a knife. Maybe it's like safety gear. It's like float. It's like a rubber suit. That's what it is. It's like a flotation suit. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. Is this because I failed my swimming test? No, my weapons proficiency. I have got a weapon that I brought with me. I've got a weapon too. I've got a gun. Look at this. Jesus, brilliant. Yeah. So you've been provided with a gun, and I've oh. been provided with a knife. Sorry, that was a bit. Uh... Brilliant. Safe. Safety. Is that bulletproof? Or will it just, like, make a hole in it and all the air will come out? What do you think? It looks like it's made of rubber. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, OK. I'll just be careful. So this is the temporary containment here for... Um, Ow! Non-lethal. The door hit you there for one damage. Yeah. <laughs> but you just healed one damage. That was good. Did it pop up above my head? One? Yeah, it did, yeah. Damn it. So if I hit this this thing, the, the, your clubs, I don't know if you know this, but it's constantly like under siege and there's like enemies and monsters all over the place trapped in the walls. So if I temporarily bypass the security system, they'll all spawn in. There we go. Oh. Okay, so... Oh! Oh! 
No, careful, careful. So if you shoot that big lava slime, you'll see there's a new death animation. There you go. It, like, flips over like a hamburger. They are... <laughs> the, the containment's being <laughs> breached somewhat. Um... <laughs> Stop panicking. It's fine. Look, you can just observe them down here from the observation bay. So I was going to say zombies have knees, but you just killed one, so never mind. Spiders also have knees. So look, the spiders don't have these... Um... Spiders have knees. Yeah, they have, like, bended legs. They don't have these straight legs anymore. I don't, I don't know if they have anymore. knees, Lewis. Whatever the arachnid equivalent of a knee is, they have one. Right. An arachnid. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, and the other thing is, so do I. And I actually have, have knees. But I don't know if you can see. Wait, what? But I've actually, like, you can see that I've got bendy legs. Oh, yeah. So. Wow. Amazing. The detail. They should have given you, like, curved buttocks. That would have been a nice... If they can add udders to cows, they can give curved buttocks to Lewis. Oh, sorry, I might have shot you a bit there. In the foot, yeah, careful. So, you just went on basically a killing spree here. I'm loving it. I was going to sort of try and show you off, like, all of the cool stuff that's been done to these mobs. Look at this lovely spider, look. With his lovely knees. He's beautiful. I'll stab him to death. <laughs> sure. Can you let me out, actually? I've locked myself in. Oh, sure thing. Sorry, I'll put I'll put the gun away. I'll put the gun away. There we go. It's all good. So there's some better animations. What I think Minecraft needs is more animations, definitely. Um, those doors are pretty lethal. But uh, ugh. have we got a containment for lethal doors? <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that I think that Minecraft needs is more animations. Like like when you kill someone, they just sort of disappear and explode into bits. They don't have a you have a proper death animation, do they? And a lot of mobs just sort of tilt sideways and fall over. So you want people to sort of just, like, lie down on the floor when they die? But, well, no, or just, like, collapse their knees or something. At least just something that isn't, like, just they disappear. What about, like, fatalities, like in Mortal Kombat? That would be a great idea. Anyway, so the other thing we've got here is, uh, as you may well see, a ghast. Oh. With its tentacles hanging down. Oh, my God! So that's an example of... The animation actually being used for something a bit cooler than... Okay, yeah, that is that is quite impressive. Wow. That's not bad, is it? That that's actually sort of rendered quite nicely in game. Oh, that's really creepy. What do you think they feel like? Do you think they're slimy or or like like a reptile, sort of dry? I think they're probably dry. Waxy, maybe? So in here, oh. we've got a creeper. Oh, my God. And they waggle from side to side when they walk forwards. So hopefully we can get it to... Uh... Oh! Oh! Oh. Good job. Sorry. Uh. Oh, careful. <laughs> uh. Come on, creeper. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, there, there we go. We I got one. He's a little wonky creeper. Uh, so they waggle around, like, kind of oddly. Oh. They kind of sway around. Oh. It's sort of insecure containment. So I think that's quite a cool animation, don't you, as well, actually? It's, it adds a lot, and it actually works quite well on servers and stuff. It's not, it's quite a robust sort of mod. It's quite clever how he's done it. He sort of created these sort of springy, boing, boing. springy textures. Very clever. Um, Aww. And so lastly, Aww. before we go, I've got one more thing, which is um, at the end here, this Enderman. Oh, but there isn't one in here. He's probably teleported out of there because he's an Enderman and he can do that. Oh god, I think he broke he broke containment. Simon, there's a there's a, there's a leaking end portal here. Oh. I think we might have to go into the end and find one. There'll be plenty there. Uh okay, I'll just uh make sure I've got my gun out. Yeah, that's fine. I, are you sure this is safe? There we are. Oh! Oh jeez, I Hello? knocked off there. <sighs> oh my goodness. Jeez, that was close. Um where the heck are we? Ah, I saw it in the end. Okay, so first thing to note. There's a couple of weapons here. So these are weapons licensed for you. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's Enderman down there. So, oh, oh God, the Ender Dragon's coming. Grab your weapons. Oh, my God, I've got so many. There's so many weapons. Oh, for God's sake. I've just got a pumpkin, a knife, and some leather tunic. I've got loads of weapons. I've got oh. loads of armor. Death Certificate MD is being a right arsehole. He's not giving me any... Well, you failed your test, didn't you? Yeah, I did. So... The animation for the Enderman, which you'll see up here, is that they have, like, they, they, they wave their arms, like the inflatable arm-waving flailing tube man. Oh, I know what you mean, that you see outside of, like, places that sell cars. So go and shoot an Enderman, and he'll run towards you, and, uh, or hopefully, hopefully he will. If you put a pumpkin on your head, it'll mean they don't aggro immediately. Oh, really? 
Yeah, that's. did you not know that? I had no idea. Whoa. This is how to kill the ender dragon. You have to, like, wear pumpkins on your head and then the endermen don't aggro. Did you not know this? I had absolutely no idea. Oh, there you go. So they all, like, flail their arms, like, insanely. Isn't it good? Or crazy or weird or just insane. <laughs> how, do, how do we get them to do it? Well, they're doing it all over the place, but you know what they're like, Enderman. You have to sort of... There you go, look. Oh my god! <laughs> so... That is a bit strange. Oh god, the Ender Dragon's coming. Brilliant. It's fine, we can do this. We've got loads of weapons and everything. I'm not sure we can really do the Ender Dragon, like, right now. Despite the fact that you're, you seem to be missing, like, horribly. I forget that they heal, so you've got to destroy all of these things and everything. It's a lot of effort to go to, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god, they're terrif- look at- oh my god. I thought- I don't think they're terrifying, I just think they're- they're silly. Does he just want a hug? Yeah. Can you do the wacky, waving, inflatable arm flailing tube man thing? Oh god, I'm a little bit low on- on the old- oh! Well, you're gonna die then, because <laughs> I've not got any heals for you. <laughs> oh! Oh! God, end of- end of dragon, 12 o'clock. There's a lot of end of things everywhere. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, so let's get out of here. Good. Well, that's that. Better animations. Brilliant. Uh, see you next time on your glass. Bye.